Estimate the length of the object to the nearest 10 meters. The object here is a gray stick, and the left end of it is lined up with the zero of a ruler. Now in the top ruler, the instrument is only marked every 10 meters. And we want to say what the gray uh, stick's length is closest to. Is it closer to zero, or 10, or 20? Zero, 10, or 20. Our end of the stick is right here. And I do believe that it is closer to 10 than 20. But now we want to get more precise. We want to estimate the length of the gray stick to the nearest meter. For that, I may wish to use the better ruler. Uh, the middle ruler is marked to the ones place. So, here we have 11, then 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. And we have to decide out of all those choices, which one is it closest to? I believe it's closer to 13 than anything else. So let's write down 13 meters for that uh, question B. Now estimate the length of the object to the nearest tenth of a meter. You may now wish to use the lower ruler, which is uh, the most precisely marked ruler. It's marked to the tenth place. And so if we check out the edge here, it looks like it is just one hatch mark past 13. I'm going to call it 13.1. Estimate the length of the object to the nearest hundredth of a meter. And it almost seems like an unreasonable question. If you zoom in real close, um, you can see that the edge of the stick is right just about on the hatch mark itself. So for that reason, I'm going to put 13.10, which means it's not to the right of the tenth, and it's not to the left of the tenth, it's pretty much right on it. And that's my best estimate. Question A says, Estimate the length of this object to the nearest 10 meters. Once again, the choices are 0, 10, and 20. If we look at the edge of the object, it looks to me like it's closer to the 10 than 0. So for that reason, I'm going to give an answer of 10 meters for A. For B, we want to estimate it a little more precisely. Estimate it to the nearest 1 meter. Okay, I'm going to use the middle ruler for that. And we have the numbers 4, 5, 6, and 7 here. And I do believe it's closer to 6 than 5. So that's going to be my answer. Now let's estimate it to the nearest tenth of a meter. I'll use the bottom ruler for that. If you zoom in close, you can see that the edge of the stick hovers around the sixth uh, tenth mark past uh, 5. Uh, so we've got here 5, this is 4, and 6, and it looks like it is exactly 6 tenths past 5. So I'm going to give it a measurement of 5.6. That's my estimate. Finally, estimate the length to the nearest hundredth of a meter. Once again, this is kind of difficult to do. Um, if I zoom in real close, I don't believe the end of the stick is to the right or left of that six-tenths mark. 
So I'm going to make it 5.60, and that's my best estimate. But now the question becomes, when it comes to scientific measurement, which answer is correct out of all these four? Since we have an instrument that's marked to the tenth place, it is generally uh, accepted that you should estimate one digit beyond what the ruler is marked to. So 5.60 is actually the best scientific answer to this question. A general rule of thumb for making scientific measurements is to estimate to the tenth of the smallest marked graduation. In other words, the person making the measurement should estimate one digit beyond the most precise markings on the instrument. Pictured here is a meter stick. It's one meter long. And we want to know what place value is the meter stick marked to. Well, it's subdivided into ten equal pieces. So this meter stick is marked to the tenth. So we would be justified in estimating to what decimal place? We want to go one beyond what it's marked to. So we can estimate to the hundredth. Now let's give some numbers to this axis here. That's 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8. I think we can all agree that it's between 0 0.7 and 0 0.8. So I'll put 0 0.73. Now in all reality, if you were to zoom in on the edge of this stick, you'd see that it's probably not perfectly straight. It's probably jagged. And so no one really knows exactly where the end of that stick is. All we can do is make our best guess, going off what we see, in order to estimate that hundredth digit. Let's try this one. This meter stick is marked more precisely than the previous one. This one's marked to the hundredths place. So now, we're justified in estimating to the thousandth place. So what is the length of the object above? We have 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and 0 0.5. It's definitely between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. Okay. But how much more information should I get? Well, the ruler is marked to the hundredth, so I definitely want to give a hundredth digit. But we have to estimate one digit beyond what the ruler is marked to. So we need to estimate that thousandth digit. I'm going to put zero there. I believe it's really close to 0 0.41. And I want to put a unit on it as well. And that's a good answer.